C3 made a special appearance at the White House to talk gun control with President Biden yesterday. Representatives Justin Jones and Justin Pearson were expelled from the State House after protesting gun control on the House floor. Representative Gloria Johnson also faced expulsion but survived by just one vote. And as the lawmakers get back to business, we're hearing from Representative Justin J. Pearson today about what is next. Representative Pearson joins us now live to talk about the White House visit, gun reform, and more. Thanks so much for talking with us today, Representative. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be with you. All right, so please tell us about your visit with President Biden yesterday. Yeah, we had a great vis visit with President Biden and Vice President Harris, uh, elevating the issue of gun reform and gun safe legislation. The reality is we're dealing with an epidemic of gun violence in our communities and the proliferation of weapons of war and guns that people really shouldn't have access to. And in our state and several other states, we're seeing the actions of the legislature really making it uh, more, more difficult for people to have legislation that's really progressive and protect our communities and so in our conversation we talked a lot about how well as how do we reaffirm uh, the values and principles of democracy which we care about that the Tennessee House Republican majority too often uh, is, is turning into a mobocracy instead of a democracy and having the voices of the people heard compared to the voices of the National Rifle Association or the Tennessee Firearms Association. So what happens now? What can we expect to see moving forward with gun reform in Tennessee? The legislature ended its session but Governor Lee says he's going to call another one specifically to discuss his proposal uh, on gun control reform. Has a date been set yet for that special session? Yes, so it's despicable that the Tennessee House majority uh, adjourned without taking on this very to do something about. Uh, we really do need to be responsive to the people, and I am 100% supportive of Governor Bill Lee's efforts to call us into special session to get to work to address this issue. It is not a Republican or Democratic issue. It's a question about right and what is wrong. And right now, we have to have a moral compass that says it is right for people to be safe in their homes and at banks and at schools without the fear of people killing them. It, it is right for us to do something about gun laws that make us safer and not have or increase the proliferation of guns and increase the proliferation of people breaking in cars as we're seeing in our our city and our county and so i am really supportive of the governor calling a special session and i do believe legislation will be passed during that special session that is more progressive and on behalf of district 86 uh, i i put forward uh, 15 pieces of legislation specific to the reforms that we have heard from parents uh, and others about what we need, not only to stop mass shootings, but to stop the types of shootings in our communities. Earlier this year, I talk often about Larry Thorne, my classmate who was murdered because of gun violence, and they're still looking for his murderer. Last night, we got a call from one of our constituents whose grandson uh, was murdered because of gun violence. This is impacting every community across Memphis, Shelby County, Millington, our, our state and our country. And this is the moment in time in this movement that we must do something and act differently in order for us to create and get better results. Well, what do you expect to happen during that special session on, on public safety? I know that two of your two of your colleagues here in the Memphis area, Republicans, have expressed interest in possibly uh, some sort of uh, gun reform. Do you think there's enough momentum for change at this point? I am always eternally optimistic in the power of people and people power's ability uh, to create transformation. Uh, you have to realize uh, uh, those two representatives, they haven't had a change of heart. Uh, they've had a change of perspective with tens of thousands of people coming to the state capitol uh, day after day, week after week, who are saying sticking to the status quo is not enough. You know, one, at least one of the representatives voted to expel me from the state legislature for advocating for the end of gun violence. So again, these folks have not had a change of heart, but the people power, as you articulated, these are the things that are forcing even those Republicans who, would, uh, who have too often chosen to side with the National Rifle Association and the Tennessee Firearms Association to not be able to stick uh, to that position. And it's because people from Memphis, people from Knoxville, people from Nashville and across our state are showing up and saying we have to do something and demand justice in this moment. And that is an important lesson for each and every one of us who believes in the power of government and in the power of democracy, that it, the change of 
perspective that we can provide as a people-powered movement that is focused and rooted in justice for everybody. All right. We thank you so much for joining us today. Representative Justin Pearson of District 86 here in Memphis. Thank you, sir. Have a good evening. Thank you so much. You all as well.